Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple axe lanyard. This style features a wrist loop and it is especially practical when working with a small axe or hatchet. The lanyard itself is not primarily meant in order to keep your axe from falling, but so that you can hang it off and use both hands while you're working with the axe hanging from your hand. As such, it adds quite a bit of functionality to your axe. Because of the wrist loop, it also doesn't get in the way too much. With that said, let's move on to the supplies. As far as supplies go, the first supply that you're going to need is an axe. The axe should have a hole in the handle which we're going to use to place our lanyard in. We're going to need some paracord and for this project I'm going to use about 12 feet. You're going to need a knife or scissors in order to cut the ends of the cords as well as a lighter to melt them. One additional supply that I recommend is either a can or a glass that you're going to use to tie the lanyard onto. This just helps you get started and we're not going to use it for long. This is an old Pringles can that I'm using here, but as long as it is round, it's going to work just fine. So with these supplies listed, let's begin. To start off, secure your axe in order to prevent injury. Take your paracord, Again, this piece is about 12 feet long and feed one end through the hole in your handle of the axe. Make sure that both of your ends are of equal length. Like this. We're going to continue by tying a lanyard knot. The lanyard knot is not absolutely required, but it does make for a nicer looking lanyard. To tie the lanyard knot, take the left end and create a loop. Like this. Take the right end and fold it towards the top. Like this basically creating a U shape. Place your right end under the loop, like this. Then go over the left cord here at the top and under the left cord here at the bottom. Then take the end again of the right cord and go over, under, over. Like this. Now take the right end again. Go past this left cord here, then under and through the middle. Take this bottom left end, go past this right cord here, then under and through the middle. Then slowly tighten up. What you're going to get is a very loose lanyard knot and we're going to move it up a bit further towards the handle. So what you do is you pull in this cord and work it through the knot and out one of the ends. Then do the same with the other end Again, work in some of this top cord through the knot
and what you're going to get is a nice looking lanyard knot. This is again completely optional, but it does look quite nice in my opinion. And now for the main part of this tutorial, we're going to do the wrist loop. Take a can, in my case a Pringles can, but it can be any type of a can or bottle. Take the ends of your cord and fold them over the top. Then go through these two cords here at the top, one to each side. So like this. I like to leave some space in between the handle as well as the wrist loop. Like this. Take the left end and go under the two middle cords and over the right one. So like this. Take the right end and go over the top and into the loop on the left. Like this, then tighten up. We're now going to take our right end, go under the two metal cords, over the left one. Then take the left end, go over the top and into the loop on the right side. Like this. Then tighten up. So after you have done two knots, you can remove the mandrel. Like this. We're going to continue the same way. So we're going to take our left end, go under the two middle cords, and over the right one. Then take your right end, go over the top and into the loop on the left. Like this. Then tighten up. Now take your right end, go under the two middle cords, and over the left one. Then with the left one, travel over the top and into the loop on the right side. Like this, then tighten up. Continue the same way, so left cord goes under the two middle ones and over the right one. The right one goes over the top and into the loop on the left. Like this, then tighten up. Now the right cord, under the two middle ones, and over the left cord. Then the left cord goes over the top and into the loop on the right. Like this, and tighten up. As you can see, all we're doing is making a knot on the left side, then a knot on the right side. So again, left cord, under the two middle ones, over the right one, then the right cord, 
goes over the top and into the loop on the left. Tighten up. And then the right chord, under the two middle chords, and over the left one. Then the left one goes into the loop on the right. And tighten up. You will want to continue this until you get like a bracelet around your entire wrist and a bit more. At that point we're going to finish our wrist loop. Once you have done the length that you think is appropriate, try it out. I like to have my wrist loop around and around my wrist with a bit of slack extra. So this is the perfect loop for me. At this point, simply cut and melt the ends and you are done. So guys, I hope that this tutorial has enabled you to make a practical as well as nice looking wrist lanyard for your axe. Thank you and see you next time.